right, guys, Kev here, and I have a package to open. I technically opened the box, but I haven't opened this. Uh, Frank sent me this. He's a guy I chat with on Instagram, and um, he put a letter in there that I opened on camera, and it has his phone number, his address. <laughs> and before that, I unboxed my new Drift air freshener, which is actually a new version. It's a stone. So somebody hit me up on Instagram and told me about this, so I went and checked it out, and I updated my subscription. But it turns out that the stone, you can't put it in direct sunlight or something. Oh, it's on the wrong way, too. Um, you can't put it in direct sunlight because it might start leaking or something. Like, it's wet. I don't know. It's freaking weird. We'll see. I don't know if the wood if the wood air fresheners say the same thing, but I never got a bag with a wood air freshener because it probably absorbs better, right? Um, so, I don't know. If that's the case, this is dumb. I don't want it leaking on my seats or something. I'm going to... I touched it a little bit, so I'm going to clean my hands. All right. So, anyway, thank you to Frank N. who sent this in. His Instagram is frankyj1001. It's frankyj1001. This is a custom. I believe it's a lefty, too. Check out this cool uh, bag. Dragon cut design. It's a cool pouch or cloth. That's really cool, right? So this is o Odin Customs uh, model. Sign Mount Lefty. MT Lefty, maybe. Purple Haze Fat Carbon, Alabama Damascus, Blackened Titanium Hardware, Date 8-12-21, Signature, there you go, Odin Customs, Made in the USA, and it's supposed to be really cool, and I think he said it was up for, um, tra oh, look, it is what comes with it, that's really cool, I mean, that's a badass pouch, look at that, can you tie it up here, well, let me put it and put this back in. And that microfiber is really nice. That's what I like about it. So then you take this side and this side. Tie it down. Um, really cool. So, yeah, I think he said this was up for trade or something if I was interested. Uh, it doesn't look like my style per se, so I, I don't think so. But uh, you never know. Looks like the centering, uh, the blade seems to be off to this side. But the tip looks pretty centered. That might be a little off. You got this, I think, zirconium backspacer, which is really nice. Uh, zirconium clip, which is nice. Uh, probably the pivot collar here is zirconium. I don't know about the hardware, but it might be zirconium. It's pretty badass. See if it has a detent. Nope. No detent. Um, but it flicks out pretty good if you give it a flick. You got the Purple Haze Fat Carbon. Where have we seen that before? Well, my Kvist Bladeworks custom variant, which does have a detent. You can see there, it's got a similar... Uh, oh, yeah, it's lefty. Let's see. I don't... Oh, God. That could be dangerous. Definitely pretty cool there on the action. You can see it's a different finish on it, I guess. This is a little more shiny. I don't know. This feels... A little more, I don't know, feels about the same, I guess. Man, sharp, I think. Eh. I had never heard of this brand until right now. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's sharp enough. Tip didn't. This edge isn't. But, I mean... It'll do stuff. <laughs> yeah, the grind looks really thick up there. I don't know. Down here, it looks... Yeah, you got a hollow grind down here. That feels pretty good. And then you got the flat up there. The whole design is interesting. You definitely wouldn't want a baton with this. You might crack that, but I mean, that's common sense with a however many hundreds of dollar knife. Interesting action. It's not a strong detent, and it's got some play there. Like, it wants to come out right away. Look at that. No, that's all play. What? 
It almost feels like magnetic instead of a detent. But it has a, a detent ball. It's, oh, maybe not. Let's see. It's got like a flattened one, I think. See that? See if I can get a good view of it. Looks like a piece is missing on the detent ball, honestly. I think it broke. I think the detent ball broke on this, and that's why it just feels weird. Um, it just feels odd. I mean, look at that. It still hasn't broken the detent in there. Boom. That's where it comes out, right, right past this point. And you can see how that part of the detent ball was like sh almost sheared off in there, it looks like. Either that or it's just not a good design. Now, you can thumb flick it pretty easy that way. Sorry. Oh my God. Sorry, I had to look at my sweatpants. I had to change into sweatpants because my daughter's having a sleep regression and... I'm walking her every night for like an hour in the stroller, and uh, tonight it was raining, so that was fun. So I had to change when I got home pretty quick. Um, hmm, interesting. Any play? No. no. Maybe a little side to side, but not much. Definitely an interesting knife. Pretty cool. Um, the lock bar axis isn't, I mean, it's kind of non-existent, but it's wide enough in there that if you go in this way, it's fine. It's a little pinchy, kind of like the... Pena Bravo that I recently got. You know, if you get your finger up too high, it'll pinch you. But if you're down here where it wants to be, it's fine. Um, but it just feels really tight in terms of the uh, lock bar access. This is kind of the same way. It's just a little awkward. Um, not feeling any stick. Yeah, maybe a little drag, but that wouldn't bug me at all. Um, Got some barrels in there. You can see them, which is kind of, I don't know if I like that. See them? You can kind of see the barrels the more I do that. I don't know if you can see it, but I can see them in there. It's interesting. Definitely a cool piece. I mean, handmade for sure, right? I mean, look at that. Um, you could tell by, you know, how this is all done in here. Just, it feels like a handmade knife to me. Um, now, let's say you operated it like a person who wanted to operate a knife, not me, who's like, oh. right? If I want to thumb flick it, boom, fires out. Drop it, boom, flick, boom, drop, boom. Like, most people, I think, would be just fine with this. You know, I'm just a snobby action dude. Alabama Damascus, uh, I, that's not Damasteel, but it's, like, sort of similar, I think. And then this is, like, darkened or something, which is interesting. So I'm guessing it has a one uh, CPM 154 or 154 CM core, basically. Um, so that's kind of your edge retention base there that you're going to get. Um, it feels pretty good. It's got a lot of uh, corners, you know what I mean? It's got a lot of 45 or 90 degree angles, whatever they are. I'm an idiot. Um, but a lot of that. So it feels very blocky in hand. This is not comfortable at all. This is pretty comfortable, actually, believe it or not. It's kind of got some Norseman vibes without looking anything like a Norseman. It's kind of weird. Um, I like the action on the disengage because it kind of just starts to drop, but it doesn't get low enough to hit you. You know what I mean? Um, you can get out of there pretty quick and move on. It does? I don't know. I'm starting to think maybe that detent thing was intentional, but it just seems weird, man. You do not want that much play in your detent. Your tip is already up pretty high. Like, I can touch it right there. I can just grab the tip. But it comes out to there without, like, here, I'll show you. Before it breaks. And then there it goes. So weird. But it pulls it in pretty good. Like, watch. <laughs> because the half the ball is working. <laughs> So the half going in, I guess, is good. The half going out is not. That's all I can think of. I don't know. It's really weird. I almost want to check the pouch for half a ball and see if 
it was left in there or something. Like it broke off in transit or something. Um, like he may have warned me about the detent. I don't know. It's kind of funny too. I was looking at a detent ball earlier I found on the table, but it was from the taco bearings. I doubt that there's a piece of detent in here, but I don't know. Super weird. Could just be how the guy does it. You know, I don't want to sit here and say that maybe that's normal. And I can't get the best view either. I haven't taken the knife apart. I'm not going to either. Um, so I can't say for sure that there's like something wrong. Um, but it feels like something's wrong with the detent. Um, like it's broken. And I'm sure the guy would warranty it just fine. Uh, some knife makers aren't good at that, but a lot of them are. Uh, but I do like the action, honestly, uh, other than, other than the, the opening detent, it feels solid. I mean, it feels like it's got a good drop. It's got a good, uh, it's got a good detent on the close. So there's potential here. I would definitely want everything rounded off, you know, now I get it. It might not be with the design he was going for, right? It's also a little bit thick, um, let see what else I have here. Here's the stout. The stout is 0.512 thickness. It's about average. And you can see this is an extra scale and a half almost. Well, hold on. Let's line these up. Sorry. Yeah, it's an extra scale. So basically, this scale is the extra part on the thickness. Now, I already feel like the stout, I think it's a good thickness. I think it's fine, but I do think it's a little thick. Um, or I guess I would say it's as thick as I would go personally. Um, you know what I mean? A QSP couldn't go any thinner because of the design. And I don't think it's too thick. I'm just saying um, I wouldn't want anything thicker than this because of how it would feel in pocket, I think. And this is thicker by a, a good margin i mean look at it you know oops um trying to get a good way to show you i just don't know how hey kev how about you zoom in and do it like this there you go just look at it you can see that extra scale essentially that extra purple haze fat carbon scale on top there you can see they're flush. This one even might be a little bit further out. Um, and we can check the size. Really good size knife. I mean, three and a quarter, 3.3 .3 inch blade, maybe 7.7, 7.8 7 overall. Um, it's got a good profile. I think if they took care of that... Um, they took care of that issue with the detent i'd be much more excited about this it's just this is not acceptable to me to have a knife come out to here before it starts to deploy um so i think it's a uh i think it's a warranty issue honestly is what i think i don't think it comes like that and if it does hey not my bag you know i'm gonna shut up about it now um, so there you go. That is the Odin Custom. I think it was called the Sign S I N E, and then the Sign M T. Really cool materials. Uh, I love the purple haze fat carbon. The build is pretty cool. Uh, I think the build quality is actually good. Like the bearings are good. Uh, it feels good, other than that detail on the deployment. It feels a little bit. It just feels handmade. Uh, otherwise, you know what I mean. You can just to me, you can just tell. And it feels a little blocky, but that's my personal preference. Doesn't mean everybody is going to feel that way, right? So there you go. That is the Odin Custom Knives Knife. Thank you to Frank for sending this in. Much appreciated, brother. I don't know if I'll carry it and use it and do a full review just because it's a hand custom. It's probably expensive. Um, and I also just... Yeah, I'm not connecting with it, if that makes sense. I'm not all that interested in carrying. <laughs> and I don't mean that 
in any rude way. I just, for me personally, you know, I'm not into the Damascus. I'm not into the thickness. I'm not into the blade shape on this one. I'm not into the detent. You know, that's just personal preference things here. Um, but I truly appreciate when people send me stuff like this. So it's always like a balancing act, right? And I feel like a lot of people send me a knife and then they never reach back out <laughs> to send me something else. And that could just be because they don't have something else that they think I would like to see or life, right? But I think sometimes it's because I didn't like the knife, right? And we can't all like the same things. Um, and I don't try to be a dick about it. I just try to give my honest opinion, my feedback, whatever. And then, you know, if you love the knife, you love the knife. You know what I mean? That That's that's perfectly fine. I'm happy that people love the knives I don't. This feels really comfortable, though, to be honest. Feels great. The more I'm handling it, the more I like it, honestly. If you just flick it, it feels good. Um, so, hey, we'll see. Maybe I will carry it if he lets me. I'm not sure I, I'm supposed to carry it. Um, it has really good acoustics, too. Does this sound a little bit like a shotgun going off? Or not a shotgun going off, a shotgun getting racked. Um, it's kind of what it sounds like to me, but yeah, it is cool, guys. So I don't know. We'll see. Maybe it'll grow on me. I'm going to have it stick around a little bit and uh, we'll see what happens. But thank you, Frank. I truly appreciate you sending it in. That was my point on that rant there is that I truly appreciate it. I want to get my hands on anything and everything I can. So just because I don't like the knife doesn't mean I don't truly appreciate you sending me your custom knife. You know what I mean? I hope that uh, makes sense. And I'm not just talking to Frank. I'm talking to everybody here. Um, so I love you guys. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day. And you guys make the channel go on. You know what I mean? By sending me loaners, the next thing I'm going to unbox in, an, in the next video is like 800 knives from Jared Neves. Um, you know, the community helps the channels grow and build and have content, and I truly appreciate that. Um, so I appreciate all the support on memberships, super chats. Uh, there's a new feature called um, Super Thanks, I think. I think it's a way that you can donate on a video instead of having to be on a live stream. You can just donate randomly. I think that's what it is. I'm not saying you should do it. I'm just saying it exists. Um, there's Patreon, uh, and then there's all the affiliate links I have down there. Anything and everything you guys do truly supports the channel. Sending me loaners, just hitting the like button, hitting the subscribe bucket button, watching the videos, hitting the thumbs down or thumbs up button, leaving me a comment telling me I'm a dickhead because this knife is badass and I'm an idiot. All those things help me. So, And us. Uh, so I love you guys. Hope you have an absolutely fantastic day, and I will catch you later.